Uh, this will really, I think, be short. Uh, I was kind of honored when uh, Dale and the um, Make folks asked us to present. Got a booth in the back. Uh, and the exciting thing for me is, the, you know, the community here is uh, welcoming. They're very inquisitive. And we've had lots of really interesting partnerships that have uh, sprung up over the past uh, few hours. Uh, when we started looking at building Windows 10 IoT Core for uh, the maker boards, specifically um, the Raspberry Pi and the MBM and some of the other partnerships that we have with Arduino, we, it was really obvious that it, it takes a community. Actually, it kind of takes a fab uh, and manufacturing facility and lots of other resources to make it. But our, our partnerships have been really fruitful. For those who um, couldn't make it to our, our build conference just last week uh, at Moscone, we uh, released uh, several different pieces of, te of technology uh, on the web for free for you to download uh, with Arduino. And specifically, the uh, Windows Remote Arduino, which actually lets you, uh, from your Windows phone, get access to the GPIO pins that are on the Arduino. So you can write Windows Phone applications that can use the Arduino as a sensor platform or as a data collection platform. We also released Windows Virtual Shields for Arduino. And this actually lets you use the sensors on your Windows Phone, $45 phone. Uh, there's about $200 worth of shield sensors that are on there, gyroscope, accelerometer, um, and, and a whole collection of technology for 45 bucks that would really cost you quite a bit more. The next thing we made available as a public download was Windows 10 IoT for Raspberry Pi. And this is really exciting because it gives you the ability to run Windows 10 on your Raspberry Pi. And we uh, opened a page called windowsondevices.com where we were showing projects and uh, made the download, uh, again, freely available. I was kind of uh, interested in the ARM talk, so I sat in on the ARM talk. And one of the compelling things that the speaker talked about uh, specifically said, this is not a toy. This is a real op. I love the, love the shout out. And you know, when we start thinking about security, cloud connectivity, and having to build all of that from scratch yourself, being able to build on a platform that has that already built in for you is uh, speeds your time to value and speeds you in getting your solution to market. When we look at Windows 10, and the other reason why this is important is because we really have multiple devices. We have a whole collection of uh, devices, uh, including PCs, phones, Xbox, the new Surface Hub, that you can share applications, your application code, between all of these devices. And that means that if you're building a device that has to connect to a hub or that has to connect to a PC, a lot of the infrastructure is already there and built for you. So you wind up having one app platform. And the other really important part is one driver platform. There's so much time that we wind up spending hooking up sensors or trying to get uh, other devices working. But having that in the box and being able to share them across all of these devices is really quite exciting. So one of the things we, you know, at, the, uh, at our build conference and you know, in conversations with makers, uh, Massimo and Eben, after the, after the show, we had a great deal of feedback about uh, the state of the product and the other features that they wanted to see. And usually, these kinds of releases take months or weeks uh, in, in Windows time. And one of the things we really wanted to do was be connected to the community and respond in sort of a timely fashion. So one of the things we're going to be doing at Maker Faire this year is releasing a special new update that includes all of the feedback that uh, we've received so far. So within uh, a week of release, we're issuing a new update. We'll have a simplified download and install process. We'll have updates to the management portal. And what this allows you to do is from a, a web interface, you can connect to your device, run tasks, 
stop tasks, log in, log out. We have a, co a whole collection of security features that I'm really excited about. And again, there's been so many speakers here today that have talked about the importance of uh, security in building your IoT solutions. When you think about things like device encryption, one of the features that we're showing uh, uh, back in our booth is device encryption. So for those who aren't familiar with this, uh, there was an exploit uh, not too long ago where people were buying hubs uh, from their manufacturer, installing malware on those hubs, and then selling them on eBay. And the idea here was that they were skimming data off of these hubs to get all kinds of special information, passwords from those customers. Well, if the device had device encryption, you wouldn't be able to modify the firmware or the SD card in the device. That's one of the things that we're, we, we, uh, we're announcing today, as well as uh, secure boot, the ability for us to profile the boot of devices so that you can understand if there's anything's been injected. And the other important feature is uh, TPM. So a TPM is a piece of uh, firmware, a piece of hardware that's on your device that actually lets you uh, store uh, secrets like Wi-Fi uh, wi certificates. And finally, a whole collection of uh, bug fixes that uh, have been uh, important, but you'll see this tempo continue from us. So we'll release uh, on a monthly basis Windows 10 IoT Core for uh, these boards. We'll have other boards. We're currently working with uh, Qualcomm right now to get their board certified uh, for Windows 10 IoT and other boards as well. In fact, um, you're, you're going to see us do a great deal more in terms of SSH. Right now we don't have SSH working. That was one of the pieces that we uh, got feedback on that you'll see probably next month. We had a, a bunch of uh, questions about Wi-Fi, so you'll see more Wi-Fi support in the upcoming months and a lot more. One of the things I wanted to talk about, too, is our interest in partnering with folks at the show. Uh, my, my coworker Vikram in the back, he's got his hands raised. He's on a special mission to make sure that we have a great representation of kits at the show and uh, moving forward. So he and I are going to every Maker Faire. We're trying to get more and more kits available. Uh, see Vikram or I after the show if you'd like to partner uh, with us on uh, creating custom kits. Super interested in education. We're interested in working with other partners and other board manufacturers. We've talked to a number of people who are uh, doing uh, custom PCB fab that we've had uh, great and I think fru fruitful conversations at the show that we want to continue to work with. So uh, that's pretty much all I had. And I just wanted to thank all of you uh, for uh, having us here today. Thanks. Thank you, Kira.